Hey guys, Corey, Famous Media, and today let's take another look at my Cinema Log custom profile for Nikon. So I created a custom profile for Nikon a couple weeks back, uh, just right before Christmas and had it edited and uploaded for you guys shortly after Christmas, but there was not really a clear sunny sky to show dynamic range. So I'm gonna go over that uh, one more time to give you guys another demonstration of how nice it looks and it improves the dynamic range over the standard profile. And to compare it, I've got my Canon 1DC here. I'm gonna be shooting in Canon log, uh, C log, which is 12 stops of dynamic range, um, probably a little more, and it looks fantastic. Uh, so it's gonna show you how well the uh, custom log profile I've created for Nikon really is. So let's go ahead and first I'm gonna take a shot with the Canon 1DC and then I'm gonna take uh, a shot with Nikon's profile and uh, my custom log profile for Nikon to show you guys what it looks like and how much more range I've pushed uh, in the gamma curve. So a lot of Nikon users have messaged me and asked me to make a custom profile uh, for Nikon since I created the custom C-Log for the 5D Mark IV and the 1DX Mark II. I'll put a link to both those videos uh, right here on the bottom of the screen so you can see those. Uh, just fantastic and I'll put a link in the bottom information box to get either or the Canon C-Log custom profile for the 1DX Mark II, 5D Mark IV or uh, Nikon's custom log profile that I've created for all Nikon cameras. So both will be in the information box below and I'll put the links to the videos right there on the bottom of the screen. But let's go ahead and take a shot with the 1DC first and then we'll go ahead and take a shot with the Nikon. I've got the D750 here that we're going to be testing on. So here we go comparing the Canon 1DC against Nikon flat ungraded. Pay no attention to the extra sharpness in the Canon 1DC. I was filming 4K whereas the Nikon is only 1080p. Once we grade them you can see the Canon's colors a little bit more accurate, a little bit more dynamic range in the shadows as Nikon's flat profile is not flat enough. Now here we compare Canon 1DC against my log file. You can see it's almost neck and neck with the Canon 1DC in every aspect. Once we go ahead and grade it, the colors are a little bit different. Pay no attention to the sharpness. I missed focus a little bit, but you can see the dynamic range is there. Side by side, Nikon flat ungraded against my log. You can see that my log file pulls out much more details in the shadow and flattens the highlights much better. Once they're graded, you can see there's so much more room with my profile. So now let's go ahead and compare them all three side by side you can see that my log file is almost neck and neck with Canon as far as dynamic range much better than Nikon's flat profile once we grade them you can see there's more details in my log file in the shadows compare it with Canon C log and you'll see how much dynamic range is truly there so guys as you can see uh, Nikon flat is very similar to Canon C log although I think the C log reaches into the shadow and highlights better with a little bit better roll off and also slightly better colors. With my custom profile for Nikon, you can see it reaches into the shadow not only more than Nikon's flat profile, but even more than the Canon log while retaining the highlights. It really reaches into the shadows, really expanding the dynamic range for your Nikon camera. And I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I've spent a lot of time on it. In fact, I probably spent a little more time on the Nikon profile than I did my Canon profile. So hopefully you guys found this review helpful, uh, overviewing the Nikon profile, the custom log profile I've created. Uh, this is the second video I'm doing on it just to give you guys more of a demonstration of its capabilities. And it's pretty awesome to see how well it stacks against the Canon 1DC since Canon's noted for being great with video. It's great to have a good log profile for Nikon's. I've had a lot of users asking me for it. So it's finally here. Now you guys can be shooting in log profile in your Nikon camera. Native ISO is 100 or 200, uh, but you can crank the ISO like any other picture style. Uh, but that's, that's where the native ISO that I've created it for. Um, as if you go higher than that in daylight, you're going to overexposed so make sure to watch your exposure don't clip your highlights and you'll be fantastic and good to go so once again guys i'm corey with famous media don't forget to subscribe and you can check out uh the link to the log profiles for canon and nikon in the information box below and to purchase any of the gear i review please use the information box uh, and those links to purchase any gear keep the reviews coming once again i'm corey with famous media and happy shooting